Map fans, welcome back. Today we are going to have a look at Python environments in ArcGIS Pro 2.8.1. I recently updated to ArcGIS Pro 2.8.1 and kept running into a problem with my Python environments. Now Python allows you to do a lot more with ArcGIS Pro and here I am in the settings screen. If I go over to Python and click on that, you'll see that my package information is being refreshed. Now my default project environment for Python is this one, ArcGIS Pro Py3. And next to it, we have a file path where I can find all the files that are in that environment. Now these are all the packages that are installed in said environment. And you'll notice in orange here, it says that I cannot modify the default Python environment, ArcGIS Pro Py3. I need to clone it and then activate the new environment first. And what that means is if I want to install new packages into a Python environment, so I want to expand the capabilities of Python in Art Pro, I have to do that into a cloned environment. So if I go to this button here, Manage Environments, and then just go to Clone Default, you can see that ArcGIS Pro Py 3-Clone is installing. Now this will take some time, so it could be a good idea to go and make a cup of tea. Now, once that has installed, you can see that we've got the active column over here and currently my default environment is the active one. Now I'd like to change that to my cloned environment. So I'll just click that. And down here, we can see that we need to restart ArcGIS Pro for your environment changes to take effect. The alarm is not going off because of environment changes. It's just North Leeds. If I OK that, there we go, my new clone is the active environment but we do need to do a restart so I'll just do that. Having restarted ArcGIS Pro I have my project environment set as ArcGIS Pro dash Py 3 dash clone and notice that this path has changed a little now so now we're in local Esri Conda Ems. Now I said that if we have a clone we can install some new packages exciting times so if I go to add packages and I search for an available package I would like to install. I'm going to go for Untools, doing some utilities work. So I'll click on that and hit Install for Untools. I will need to agree to the terms and conditions and it will tell me what the dependencies are for this particular package. And I'll hit Install and off it goes. Now that has installed, once again, I need to do a restart. And notice that we have our project environment set. That is good. That should be our default environment when we open up ArcGIS Pro. Always a good idea to restart when you're installing new packages. So having restarted my ArcGIS Pro, I'm going to start without a template. And I will show you what this should look like. So what Untools does is it should install a new toolbox. And if I just go to my geoprocessing pane and my toolboxes, down here we can see Utility Network Package Tools. And that is exactly what we want. And if I double click on here, this Stage Utility Network will open up. Fantastic. So that's how it should look. But when I first tried to do this, I got this. Now this error message isn't that fun, it doesn't tell me a whole lot, but it does mean that none of my geoprocessing tools were working. After a bit of searching and question asking, I discovered that this is a known bug. So thanks to the question answerers for pointing this out. Now one apparent method seems to be to reinstall 2.8.0, but there is an alternate solution given in the bug fix down here. So we can manually copy ArcGIS bin this file to the appropriate location in the cloned environment. Back in ArcGIS Pro, if I go up to Project and then down to Python, I can see these details about my environments again. So if I click on Manage Environments, I can see where the default environment is and where my cloned environment is stored. So I'm going to bring up Windows Explorer by using the Windows key and E. And I've already navigated a little bit of the way towards this. So I'm in Users, App Data, Local Programs, ArcGIS Pro bin, and then I just need to go to Python, Envs, 
and into my ArcGIS Pro Pi 3. Once I'm in here, I just need to go to lib and then down to site packages and then ArcGIS scripting. And it's this file that we want, the ArcGIS scripting.pyd. So if I copy that, all good. Now I need to copy this to my cloned environment and that is stored in a different place. Just make note of this. So it's in app data, local, and then Esri. So if I go into my location here, I can go back to local and instead of programs, we would like Esri. That looks good. And then where's the next bit of it? Conda Ems. Conda Ems. And then into ArcGIS Pro Pi 3 clone. Click into there and then the same thing again. Into lib and into site packages and then into ArcGIS scripting. And we can paste that in there. It'll ask if you would like to replace the current file. Just click yes to that. And that should all be good now. And if you want to restart your Python or your ArcGIS Pro, then fingers crossed, things should work. So that should help you to avoid reinstalling ArcGIS Pro and messing around for too long. Hope you found the video useful. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and happy mapping.